This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so yesterday we have seen in detail about the association, right? So we have seen over there that association is a very powerful concept which is going to improve the performance a lot if we are going to use in the right way. We will see the power of uh, association with the help of uh, Fury app. We'll try to create one UI5 app and there we will see that how so easy we can implement a CDS with the help of association and we can create a master detail page app. So there it will become very useful when we will see that particular example. That example we will see under the uh, next uh, uh, some classes where we are going to integrate the CDS view of with the SAP UI5 or Fury app. There we will see how we can consume the CDS where we have used the association in a effective way and so that we will be able to use under there in the Fury or UI5 app. Okay, so there we will also realize the power of association. Uh, it becomes very easy and it uh, becomes very effective as well when we are going to use the CDS with association in Fury or UI5 app. That means that development becomes very easy. You don't have to write uh, uh, like you know the code so much and all those things. Simply you have to integrate this uh, backend CDS. Uh, uh, just uh, we have to use one another annotation whenever we are going to use the CDS when you are we are going to create the CDS there is an annotation called at the rate of four data dot publish colon true so as soon as we are going to give that particular annotation the CDS is going to uh, uh, have its uh, own O data service and that O data service we can expose to the UI5 or Fury app okay so that we will see how we can do that one in detail okay now uh, yesterday also we have seen that how we can use uh, association in a select query using the path expression right that portion we have seen yesterday also uh, if you want to use association uh, like a inner join that also we have seen how we can use that one in the inner join let's uh, go to the uh, system let me close this come to this system i'm going to the about perspective where we are doing our development go to this local object and here are the core data services we are having which we have developed a store day data definition under this data definition jmb jd mb so these are couple of cds we have created yesterday and now here this is the association using the path expression this we have seen right this is how we are putting the select query here you can see that we are putting the select query on this uh, association which has been defined under this cds so the current cds is the different one cds 6 we are using the association demo underscore association from the CDS 5 under the select query. Okay, so this also can be done. And if you want to use this association as an inner join, that also we have seen under the CDS 5. Okay, so here just whatever you are going to do means what you are writing the code, just you write like that only. Normal code, what you will have to do it over here that. You'll we'll have to give the name of the association and inside the rectangular bracket just we'll have to give the inner over here once you will give the inner over here it will be have like a, you know uh, a inner join it will be have like a inner join okay now we will go ahead and we will see you know uh, we will go ahead and we will see some user defined function over here okay so sorry inbuilt function we are going to look into the inbuilt function let's go ahead and we can use the inbuilt function how we can use the inbuilt function in cds 
okay so it's a similar to the open sql how we have been using in the new open sql over there in the same way we can use the inbuilt function over here also let's go and use over here here one thing more in inner join also if you if you want you can put the where condition in this inner join if you want you can put the where condition that is possible okay so uh, this this is due to the comma it's giving the error now it's gone this is fine okay so let's go and create one more cds right click new data definition z mb03 may underscore cds and seven this is my seventh and here we are going to see the inbuilt function demo let's go ahead and we'll define one cds a simple cds let's go and create over here and we will see that how we can use the inbuilt function what are the inbuilt function some of the uh, yesterday we have seen the aggregate function and today we'll look into the inbuilt function we are having the inbuilt function called absolute okay so what's the meaning of absolute you know that absolute of minus 5 or plus 5 it's going to give as same right so if you want to see this value absolute value it will be getting its result as a plus 5 only okay now we are having the seal function so c e i l seal so we know that when we talk about the ceiling fan and all it's everything attached with the roof roof means the upper it's a denotion of the upper value so whenever we are going to use the seal function for example we are having 9.5 or 9.6 so it's a seal value is going to have the just next integer so what will be the next integer what is the next integer for this seal value 10 right so we'll get the answer as 10 now we are having the division in build function you can use this division to find out the co uh, quotient so suppose if we're going to define the 7 by 3 you can represent like this and its value is going to have the 2 so div quotient i'm just giving over here and then this division comes under the two flavor one is div function and another is division function so division if we're going to divide the seven by three and if you want to get its result up to three decimal places or up to four decimal places so that four you can give it over here okay so as div underscore q okay with decimal places with decimal places d means decimal p means places okay comma now if we talk about some another inbuilt function we are having the mode which will give you the remainder value mode means the modulus function modulus is nothing but it's going to give the remainder so for example if we're going to divide 7 by 3 it's going to give the remainder as 1 okay so as <clears throat> mod remainder i'm just going to give a remainder value we can give remainder value now the another we are having the floor function floor is nothing but here we are having the seal seal means upper value floor means the lower value so for example we are having 3.4 it's going to give the answer as you know three so floor value then we are having another function called the round function okay we are having the another function called round function so whenever we are going to use the round function we must have to use the currency field or quantity field then only this round function will work properly okay so what i'm going to do that define this way i select from this select from mara i'm going to keep it over here mara and then this is the value which we are representing and under this round function we can give ntgw which is the net quantity field right ntgw is the field from the mara which meaning is the net quantity ntgw and i want to round up up to two places this value okay so this is how we can write our you know whenever you require you can use this inbuilt function
over here if you want to put some field over here you can put some fill it's giving some error let us see what is the error over here and alias must be defined yes here let's give some alias round you know net weight net weight okay click on this save button uh, here we'll have to give the sql view the important parameter over here we'll have to pass i'm going to give z uh, something like zmb uh, uh zmb uh, 0 3 and sc 11 demo uh, we are having this is the seventh one okay some error it is telling select a sorter name okay so now it is fine it's working fine now just save it and click on this activate button after that we'll press f8 and we'll be able to see the data preview over here right so here you can see that absolute value i have given the minus five over there it's coming five the seal value you can absorb that it's a 9.6 it's coming the 10 over here under the seal value division quotient we are dividing 7 by 3 so 2 is coming perfectly division quotient up to the four decimal places there it's coming up to the four decimal places a remainder is 1 7 divided by 3 obviously it will be a 1 and the floor value over here we have given over there 3.6 something like that 3.4 so the floor value is going to have the just a lower value means just the uh, for the 3.4 the uh, three will be the integer the floor value right and the round net weight this is the net weight just we are rounding up to three places up to two places over here and that's why it's coming up to the okay so here up to three places it's coming right it's coming up to the three places and here we are giving that two okay suppose i'm going to give up to five places okay let us see how it's uh, <clears throat> it's showing or not okay press f8 and up to five places what is that meaning of up to you know the uh, that round the position up to how many position we have to give this value correctly right so as per my understanding the five means up to five places it should give the value correctly if i'm going to give the two up to two places it give it should give the value correctly right i'm going to just activate it activate it activate it and once again i'm going to try and let us see up to two places 0.25 that's fine 0 0.000 but it's giving 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 100.000 uh, it should give up to two places okay it should give up to two places maybe my understanding is wrong in this case we can go and check it under the sap standard documentation let me go and check round inbuilt function round inbuilt function in sap hana okay so round inbuilt function round function this is over what we are having and let's try to understand what is the meaning of the round function over here and then we will go and check okay so round ceiling and all it is fine here up to two two real up to two 16.6 round from dummy okay so for example if we're going to use this round function over here if you are going to use the round function but better we could have seen under the round function uh, round function under the above cds so it is everywhere in like uh, in open sql also it is there uh, you know uh, here in the sql script also it is there we will look into the you know for for the cds view how it's working okay round inbuilt function in cds so exactly we are facing in the cds so better to go and check in the cds this is showing from the you know sql script you can see here it is showing from the sql script so i'm not bothering about the sql script at this point of time um this is again it is telling about the sql script only i'm looking for the cds round function 
above CDS numeric this one it looks the correct one above CDS here yeah argument position so argument we can give as an integer 1 integer 2 integer 4 all such kind of currency and quantity field okay position literal field of a data source or input parameter of type int 1 into this is okay data type of int 1 uh, of arg where int 1 and int 2 are transformed to int 4 okay i want to look into some example decimal 3 to h round so this is some example given by this is the standard one we can be able to find it directly over there let's go and find it control v demo cds sql function number so this is the cds entity i'm just uh, you know opening it and just will run it and we'll check how it's working over here okay this is the table demo expressions this is the table if you want to see the you know uh, this value what you can do that you can press the control first select this press control and you know click over here it will take you to the demo expression table okay it's yeah it is there so now it has come over here and if you want to see the content directly over here in the eclipse you can press f8 there is no data over here okay so we'll not be able to see the output no problem this is not a big problem uh, i will check and i will let you know but you can just explore yourself it's not a you know uh, here there is no data that's why we are not able to see right they have given one example but because in that table there is no data we are not able to see anything however it should as per my understanding whatever the value is there up to two decimal places it should be rounded correctly but in my case it's not happening so so either you can do yourself or i will do and let me uh, i will let you know fine let's go ahead and so in build function we have seen how it's working now what we will do that we will check about some important aspect of the you know cds and how we can achieve that one so actually cds is having some limitation cds is having some limitation what are those limitations okay cds having some limitations already i have listed down over here so the limitation if you talk about over here in the cds the very first limitation is that you now let me write it so that you will be better able to focus over here that you will not be able to write the complex logic complex logic suppose if you want to write the complex logic is it possible complex logic is it possible no you can go and check in the cds you will not be right if else something like that right if you want to write if condition if you write want to put loop at something like that if you want to put something 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 some complex logic some imperative logic if you want to write you will not be able to do so then how we can achieve this one right this is one question this is one question complex logic is it possible no that is not possible not not possible another thing can you write the imperative logic that means if else kind of logic right imperative logic you can write up to some extent using the case and when states a statement as we have done yesterday right we can use some case statement when this is that then that so up till you can write but complex logic is not possible very much complex logic is not possible okay so imperative logic imperative logic like if else low part something like that low part and modification uh, means kind of imperative logic is not possible not possible then it is having some another limitation it is having some another limitation in terms of data type when you are going to put the inner join going to put the inner join on two tables and and if it is having the different data type 
it will give you the problem it will it will give the error what is that problem let me show you what is that problem so to show that problem you know we have to take one example so we should have some functional knowledge okay so that we can understand about the table content and all let's log in into the system and i will show you that you will see a lot of such example over here for example if you go and check into the table called ac doka this is a new table ac doka here you are having the field called you know uh, you are having the field called uh, let me check out uh, what is that field okay first go to the bkpf table which is related with the finance bkpf press f7 and gjhr here you can see that numc is 4 over here for this bkpf and if you see over here that gjhr here also numc is 4 fine this is not the correct one Bellner, this is bookers blart okay 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 fine here i'm not able to show you actually here also one problem comes but the field exactly i'm not able to remember okay but we are having the several examples we are having the several examples this is the very first example when uh, i was started using the series in real time i faced over there but i'm not able to remember the exact field okay here it is the ac doka num c4 and there somewhere it will come num c5 so uh, if it is having the different field no it will just give you the uh, error okay okay no problem but we are having some another table you know uh, another table we are having the but triple zero let me go and check but triple zero this is the crm table where you are having all the business partner information okay the business partner data we are having over here this is having a field called you know partner underscore grid if you go and check somewhere it will be there the partner underscore grid partner underscore grid let me search from over here partner underscore grid yeah it's here you can see that it's raw 16 okay this field is of raw 16 on the other hand if you go and check there is one more table called the name for that table is uh, crmd underscore partner crmd underscore partner table uh, we are having over here click on this display button and here we are having a field called partner underscore number partner underscore number this is the field okay here this is of car 32 right but the meaning of both the field partner underscore grid and partner underscore number both is same so many a times you will come a uh, requirement where you have to do the inner join to find out the you know relevant information from both the table at the same time so you must have to put the inner join kind of a stuff so i'm going to put the inner join in the cds on both the table and you will be able to see that it will give you the error come over here and put the inner join i select from uh i'll create one more cds maybe or here itself i can show you okay here itself in the existing one itself i can show you so name of the cds is going to be the same but i don't want to disturb this one i will have to uh put the code i will have to copy the code and paste it in the notepad so i don't want to disturb this one let's go to the you know project explorer right click over here and i will create one new data definition the name of the new data definition i can keep it the cds 8 and the description i'm going to give you know uh cds problem on inner join cds problem while doing the 
inner join when data type mismatch okay but the same thing if we're going to do in the open sql it is possible that it will not give you the error okay 62 characters exceeded click on this next button click on this finish button and it will create a cds for us so this is the name of the cds come over here and i'm going to give this name underscore sc11 demo 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 it but it will be more than 16 characters jmb03 like that we have given over here select star form and now the name of the table we are going to give the name of the table is what but triple zero but triple zero dot the field name is nothing but we are having the partner underscore grid okay partner underscore grid we are going to give the inner join suppose if we're going to inner join the name of the another table we are having that's the name is the crmd underscore partner okay and what is the field for the crmd underscore partner which is creating the problem that is the partner number partner underscore no right let me check what is the field it's not giving oh the wrong one actually i'm using crmd underscore partner the field we are having the partner underscore number and dot partner underscore number let me go and copy from there crmd underscore partner dot partner underscore no okay if some problem will be there it will give me the error okay and some field i'm going to select from the table so inner join of course we'll have to give the oh sorry i'm doing the wrong that's why it's not giving me the option on condition we have to give and here also i'm doing the wrong thing right on but triple zero dot the partner grid yeah here it's coming this was I was expecting actually this but I was using wrongly that's why it was not coming so dot and CRMD okay partner partner control space and here it's coming the partner underscore number partner underscore number so here the partner underscore grid and partner underscore number both is same okay so just I'm trying to get the data from this some of the field i'm going to take from this okay dot some of the field for example uh client contact as contact so this will be the sufficient there is nothing to write more it's fine a single field i'm just going to select and here you can see that it's giving the error it's telling the data type conflict in a selection condition or on condition for this so here it's giving the data type conflict that's the problem we are having okay so <clears throat> how to avoid this problem how to avoid this problem so generally if you go and check with this open sql it should not create any problem but in the cds the cds engine has been written in such a way that it performs the strict check and there it you know creates the problem so such kind of problem you will frequently used okay so another one with the ac doka and bkpf i believe i'm not able to exactly remember the field and all but one more example which uh, we are having there you know uh, the table is lips and the you know uh, lips if we're going to do the same things with the lips this is the sales document delivery item data okay delivery item data the table and another table we are having over here is the mat doc this is the new table introduced in s4 hana okay so here you can see that mat doc we are having and in this mat doc you are going to have one more field called ebelp okay let's go and search ebelp both is the same both is the same here it's a numc5 over here ebelp item number of purchasing document 
okay it's the item number of the purchasing document and earlier in the lips whatever the field we are having that is having the same meaning okay let me close this one come over here mac doc i'm going to give the lips over here and here you can see that uh in this uh, in this the vgpos vgpos lips vgpos vgpos so this is the field here we are having the numc6 okay and there in the ebelp you are having the numc5 this will also create the problem this will also create the problem it will tell that data type mismatch on the inner join so how to avoid such kind of problem if you are having such kind of problem what you can do that you can use the table function concept a very powerful concept introduced in netweaver 7.50 okay so here you are having three problems you cannot write the complex logic the second problem you cannot do the imperative logic three when you are going to have the data type mismatch it will give you the error so to overcome this problem you are having the solution and that solution is nothing but cds table function solution of all the above problem is cds table function let's go and create a cds table function okay so cds table function is nothing but you know cds table function is nothing but implementation of sql script in the amdp class okay table function is nothing but we are going to create a amdp class and there we are going to create one method and that method is going to be called inside the you know uh, th that method is going to be called inside the cds table function let's go and do that how we can do here this problem is coming so now we are going to create a cds with table function okay we are going to create a cds with a table function right click over here new data definition and we'll give that zmb03 my cds 9 and cds with table function click on this next next and you will get one option over here define table function with parameter define table function with parameters i'm going to choose this option because it will give me the template and here you can see that this is how your cds with table function looks like so you'll have to give the name of the table function over here that's fine we can give it okay with parameters parameter name parameter type over here you must have to define the parameter over here why this parameter is required the reason behind this is you know uh, uh, actually this code you are going to write at the sql script level and you know that in the sql script we have to manually handle the client client field we are supposed to handle manually in the in the sql script so because we'll have to uh, we'll have to manage the client field manually we must have to provide one parameters called client field okay so what i'm going to do that we are going to enable we are having one environment parameter okay where if we're going to use that environment parameter that's uh, environment environment dot system field this one and you can give its value if you put control plus space it will give the value so give the client if you give this one the meaning of this means it will consider only the current client okay so we are interested in only the current client right that's why we are using this uh, you know this this system variable this system variable so now uh the client handling we don't have to bother about the client handling now what are the field we want to return so let us suppose we want to return you know the client field 
okay i'm just going to give the client over here then what are the fields you want to return from your cds table function right so the name of the field you can give over here so for example i'm going to give the partner partner underscore in o column that is fine again to come back over here and we can get some another table partner uh, underscore fct is one more field that we can give crm and the data type for this is crm t underscore partner underscore fct okay semicolon and then the name of the partner if you want to give name one underscore text and bu underscore name one tx is the i will just check if some give some error then we'll go and check uh, from the table if all this data element and all is correct or not okay so client ab about dot client element underscore type crm underscore partner underscore fct this four field just a want to return okay this four field just a want to return here some error it's giving okay a list of input parameter is expected with parameters okay with parameters it's asking to pass the field so we can pass the field the client field we can pass p underscore c l n t and a b a p dot c l n t okay so a parameter just have passed and this parameter will automatically the parameter handling will be automatically taken care by these things okay now the client uh, field i just want to get return from this cds table function the partner number so just after colon will have to give the name of the data type just after colon so this is the name of the field and after giving the colon we'll have to give the name of the data type name of the data type so uh, we are just defining a structure uh, we are just defining a structure so uh, type table of that structure we will be able to return the internal table in the output okay so here some error it is telling data element does not exist okay element underscore type what we are having partner underscore number and this partner underscore number is having the data type crmt underscore partner underscore number okay so just save it and now it looks good and here we can give the class name you'll have to give the name of the class over here so i'm going to create one name of the class z mb uh, 03 may table function demo and then the method name method name i'm going to give return you know return crm values something like that i'm just giving this this particular amdp class and this table function method we'll have to create let's go and create this particular class copy this class name copy this class name okay now let me just try to check the syntax you can see that there is no syntax here or something like that click on this activate button let's see if the activation is successful now but this uh, you know uh, table and all is not there so it will give at runtime the error you can see that because it's not there that's why it's giving the error so what we'll do that we'll create this class and we will create this corresponding method then it will not give any error now go here go to this file new and go to this other and we'll create one class abap class next give the name of the class i have copied already the description table function demo table function demo click on this next button click on this finish and now automatically the template has been created so half more than uh, half work has been already done by the sap okay so under the public section you know that when we are going to create some amdp class we must have to provide the interface called you know amdp marker underscore hdb 
okay we'll have to provide the interface and the name of the interface is the mdp underscore marker underscore sdb then only the system will be able to understand that this particular class is the amdp class so let's go and include that interface give the name of the interface if underscore amdp amdp underscore marker underscore hdb so for hana database you know so for hana database if you want to create the amdp class this is the interface we are supposed to include so this is the mandatory one we must have to include this interface okay so now as of now sap only supports the hana database for this amdp so table function is only possible in hana database not in any other database okay so this is one important point interviewer may ask this question this is a tricky question right so if they are going to ask the question that table function can be created from uh, uh, in any other uh, database or not as of now we are supposed to tell no currently we cannot create because the emdp class is not supported currently by any other database than the hana database okay fine then we'll also have to create one method right so for a stored procedure if you remember that when we are creating the amdp class and method and when we'll have to call the stored procedure at that time also we'll have to create one method so generally we create the class methods but we can create the instance method also you know so simply we can use the methods that that is also possible i'm going to use the static method <laughs> that means the class methods the name of the class methods we can give the same name as we have using over here okay we are using over here the same method name return crm values copy this come over here and paste it over there and after this you will have to give some addition what addition for table function for which table function what the name of the table function we have given over here the name of the table function is this one zmb03 my cds9 copy this one and paste it over here okay so at this point of time everything is clear right everything is clear so uh, when i have activated this one actually when i have activated this one you know why 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 i have activated i have activated because this artifact would have been created in the database layer and the same artifact when i'm going to use it over here it will not give the error some problem is here let me check what is the problem implementation missing that's the another problem so we can you know uh, add the implementation for return crm values okay click over here and the implementation has been added over here and that error is gone if you would have not activated this particular cds9 which is the table function over here it would be giving the error to you okay that I have just activated so that it will not give the error now let's go and write the code over here so inside this method actually what we are supposed to write the table you know udf code table udf code if you remember that in the sql script when we were learning over there we we have learned about the anonymous block we have learned about the stored procedure we have learned about the you know udf udf is of two types scalar udf and table udf okay here i'm talking about the table udf so the table udf you can write inside over here if else right you can write if else okay you can write uh, you know you can write if else you can write uh, do endo you can write uh, for loop any kind of logic modify insert update right so what is the benefit of table function what is the benefit of this you know cds table function is that you can implement uh, you can you can avoid all the limitation what we are facing over here all these three limitation you don't have to go and create the amdp because with the help of amdp you are going to achieve in cds itself the functionality of sql script okay so sql script is also here become so powerful so what we have learned in the sql script is going to help a lot if we're going to get such kind of requirement okay if we're going to get such kind of requirement so you can do you can do all kind of imperative logic loop and loop 
you know do and do for and for or such loop and loop is not possible over here because this is not the what a bab code this is a sql script for and for while and while if and if okay modify update all those things is possible over here using this okay now now what to write inside this what to write inside this so here also you'll have to write some you know that when we are going to define this method we'll have to write by database there we were writing the procedure in the amdp when we'll have to implement over here the you know sql script code the stored procedure code right there we were writing by database procedure over here this is the table function what we are going to write it over here we'll have to write by database function by database function for hdb language there you remember there we have written by database procedure there we have written by database procedure for hdb language here we are writing by database function we are going to write here table function that's right okay the syntax for the table function we are going to write okay so now uh i will show you i will just open where i have written all the table function code and all yeah it's already here so you can see that how the table function code we write just i'm trying to make you revise how actually we write the code so here you can see the table udf function right it was possible from hana 1.0 sps 06 right so here this is the code at the sql console we write generally right so i'm just going to copy this one and if you go and write this code over there right go here go here go into the administrative mode go to this open sick console control v and i'm going to give some another name because this would be already existing over there okay so two three something like that i have given and going to execute it's giving some error tn3 schema okay here sap hana db so that schema is not correct i have corrected the schema name right tn3 schema does not exist in the system but sap hana db uh, exist okay i'm going to execute and this time it is got successfully executed so this is how we create the table function okay create function return table as begin this that we write like that over there okay so same code you are going to write over here same code you are going to write it over here come over here and we'll be writing the same code come 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 yeah and here control v so function for hdb language return table bp underscore id var care all these things is not required over here because our you know our is different why this is coming in this color for sdb language sql script okay now it's fine because the error was there that's why that particular you know <coughs> thing was coming no problem so return table here under this return you can see that we are writing here the return table okay this is the sdb function we are writing here the return table we we will be not able to write like this we will not be able to you can see that here it's telling that sql syntax error incorrect syntax near returns okay it's telling uh it's a it's not the correct syntax what i will do that i will remove this one this is not required over here okay this is not required over here okay. what it is required over here simply this as begin is also not required and end is also not required over here simply what you will have to do here you will have to write this value okay above database cannot specified explicitly for the object is unknown fine i'm going to remove this one this and all is not required in my case what i'm going to do that i'm going to you know what value i have to pass from here what value i have to pass from here just i will note down and i will put it from there 
okay so come to here come to here and the client field i want to pass client field i want to pass so i will go and write this client field right then i want to get from here let me close this then here i'm trying to get this partner underscore number we can get this partner underscore number comma this partner underscore fct these are the fields i'm trying to get from there partner underscore fct comma and then again we are having the name one underscore text okay so we can give it over here so return select client partner number partner fct name one underscore text this and all is not required and from the table what is the table two table we are having over here what are those two table crmd underscore partner crmd underscore partner okay and inner join another table we are having but triple zero right so on this two table i want to put the inner join on and the condition what is that condition which we were facing the issue this is the condition copy this one and just paste it over here so here we have written like this okay some error is coming we'll correct one by one what is the error beauty triple zero partner grid crmd underscore partner this is fine okay let me check what is the problem over here crmd underscore partner is unknown okay a map object and dd object must be declared in the method statement yes that is true we'll have to give the using a statement whatever the you know table we are using over here that we must have to provide under the using a statement over here so what are those table we are having crmd underscore partner give this one and another table we are having but triple zero okay so just by giving one space over here give this value so now you can see that error is gone almost one more error is there we'll see that sql script message column ambiguously defined client 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 so this client is there in the both the table i'm just going to tell take the client from this table okay is there any more error it's telling some another error invalid column name bp underscore role bp underscore role this where condition i'm not going to give okay now that where condition actually got copied and pasted from my previous code that's why it was uh, it's giving the problem now some more problem we are having what it is telling sql syntax error near okay remove this remove this one and now it looks good now it looks good you can check the syntax it contains no error activate this one and your amdp class with the method is successfully activated here you will get the successful message okay i'm just trying to wait for the message it didn't come okay we'll see the log over here okay no problem let me try once again to activate yeah this time activation for this is successful it is showing so it is now successfully activated and now if we're going to press f8 it will give you the data if the data are there in the table press f8 and there is no data in the table but however it is activated right everything is working fine earlier here it is not allowing to activate you can see that it will give you the error it will give you the error it does not allow you to activate but here it is working it's working fine over here okay you can apply the same example for you know if you just want to check the another one uh ac doka I, I just need to check what are those two fields where we face the problem it's a frequently occurred problem okay many a times this kind of problem of type conflict will occur okay so this is how using the table function we can avoid such problem okay this is how with the help of table function we can avoid such problem 
another problem that imperative logic and all that I need to explore further over here how we can do that one but here whatever we are going to you know whatever this method we are going to create this method is ultimately going to be created at the database layer in the form of table function okay so directly in the table function if you want you can write the all these e fails code over there directly in the table function just i have shown you this table function over here right here you can see that we can write complex logic in table function as well okay so here in the table function we can write the complex logic okay and because the amdp method supports the table function just i need to i have never tried that one i need to explore how we can write the complex logic over here okay but the type conflict issue we can avoid in this way okay this we have seen over here now we are moving further towards the next concept the next concept is nothing but that suppose if you want to expose our old data service okay whatever you are going to create the cds for that cds you will have to create a o data how you can do that okay and that same o data we can consume from the fury app or ui5 app so first we will learn some uh, concept like how we can create the o data and then we will learn some concept related with the vdm and then after we will go and see that how we can consume that particular vdm you know that particular vdm because nowadays vdm has been a standard practice in the s4 hana for the development okay so that is the recommended practice so that's why first uh, in a same with a simple example we will see that uh, how we can develop our o data service okay let's go and do that so i'm going to create one uh, cds or uh, already we have created multiple cds maybe we can take that one of them and let's come over here z mb23 z mb20 yeah 03 we are having i'm going to take some for example i'm going to take this smartener maybe here data is coming yes data is coming so we can take this okay what you will have to do that a very simple annotation you will have to use in order to create our o data service you should know a little bit about the o data service what is this o data service o data is nothing but the open data service okay open data service what exactly it does that you have the back end over here right you have the back end database or just to understand this is your application server we'll talk about the database later here you understand this is your abap application server this is your abap as now this abap application server is having written lot many code you are having the code in abap right you have lot many code in this abap server now you want to expose this code towards the external environment like java environment dot net environment you know ui5 and fury environment so directly you will not be able to get the data from this you know abap application server it's not possible you require a gateway server what you require you require a gateway server this gateway server you know what it will do that it will fetch the data this gateway server has been also developed in this abap language only okay so sometimes what will happen that this gateway server will be embedded in this application server itself okay sometimes there are two types of actually this gateway server this mechanism has been you know implemented by sap in two ways one is uh, this gateway server has been has been you know uh implemented uh, has been embedded in the abap server itself that is known as the embedded one and other one the separately one server has been there and this server is going to connect with the multiple abap server 
you can have the CRM ABAP, app, you can have the SRM ABAP, app, and you can have the multiple one. And this is going to communicate. This is going to communicate with this gateway server. So here, this gateway server is responsible for creating the O data service, open data service. And this O data service can be exposed to the external environment like UI5 or Fury or .NET or Java, anything. Anyone can consume this O data service. So suppose you are going to create one web app. So there you are going to use some UI5 based framework. Let us suppose it can be any uh, Java or .NET or AngularJS or whatever. So so web app we are having in UI5. So we are going to write the code over here in the JavaScript, right? We will be having the HTML, JavaScript, uh, XML, such kind of stuff will be in there. So, in the controller method, okay, this UI5 is nothing but what? MVC based framework, model view controller, MVC based framework. Because this is the MVC based framework, it must be having the controller method in order to perform the logic or in order to integrate this ui5 with the back-end system then only it can get the data and it can show you in the front end right so that code has been detained in the controller we are having the controller section over here mbc model view and controller Moller, mod, model is nothing but data view is nothing but the one which you are able to see in the front end okay and the controller is nothing but where every logic to fetch the data to manipulate the data all the business logic where the validation all kind of stuff is written over there in the controller so this controller is going to call this o data service in the controller you can use the o data service okay and you can fetch the data using the o data service using the o data service data can be fetched data can be fetched and consumed at you know front end consumed at front end front end okay so the service name where we create the service name we go and create the service name through the transaction called SEGW. Okay, from the transaction slice and SEGW. If you go, you can come come over here and you can create the service. Okay, for example, suppose if you want to create the service over here to fetch the data. Okay, so you'll have to create one project over here. So ZMB03 MAY demo and just some demo the stuff i'm going to create and the package dollar tmp or local package i'm going to choose okay so it's a local object i'm going to create and it has been created okay here this is the data model here this is the entity type right click over here click on this create button you will be able to create one entity type give the name of the entity type entity type is nothing but the structure name you will have to give in which format you want to get the data right suppose suppose you want to fetch the data from the mara table you want to give the data to this ui5 this is your ui5 application right this is your ui5 application and in this ui5 application you have to display the data from the mara table so you want to display the mat node you want to display the m dot you want to display matql these are the three fields you want to display right so of course you will have to define some structure that a structure will be responsible to create the internal table type of that structure and that internal table is taking the data from here to here in the xml format right so we require a structure here also that a structure is known as here the entity type okay the structure is known as here the entity type et underscore mara i'm just going on material info we can give material info i'm just giving 
once you give the structure over here automatically i want to create the internal table if you want to automatically create the internal table here the internal table name is entity set entity type is the structure entity type is a structure and entity set is internal table over here means you can compare with the structure it's not exactly a structure but we can compare with the structure i feel almost like a structure everything is like a structure entity type and entity set is going to become your you know internal table here you can see that entity set automatically is going to get create based upon this entity type click on this ok button click on this ok button and here you can see that you are having two you know two subfolder one is properties and another is the navigation properties this navigation properties is related with the association okay so here large amount of code when in the cds that concept come like association concept come then a lot of coding effort has been reduced nowadays because of that association concept okay a lot of coding uh, effort but when the association and all was not there we used to do the association and navigation was one of the very important stuff in the audit nowadays also it is okay but uh, compared to earlier days it is less used because the uh, most of the things we are going to achieve with the help of that association on the series itself that we will see okay that we will see fine this property i'm going to create right click over here and here we are not getting option from here we can create this is the et just a second let me delete this one this is the internal table double click over here yeah and now click over here so under this entity type i want to give the field name the material number edm type from here you can select this one edm dot string okay edm dot string so this is the material is the character data type so edm dot string just i'm selecting over there other thing just i'm going to keep same here above field i have to give this above field is the same field which you are going to use in our select query and all so system will understand this matnr here at the application server layer but at the ui5 layer this name will be exposed okay this name will be exposed now another field what we are having the matnr it's a no? atm type what uh, what is the meaning of that is same as your data type. Data, data, data type. Okay. Yeah. Entity data model. Entity data okay. model. Okay. okay. So here also this is the data type I'm giving over here and M tart. M tart. Now click on this plus button once again and MBRSH. mbrsh just save it and once you have saved what you will have to do that you'll have to choose some key over here i've just chosen this as a key okay matna as a key and now you'll have to select this project and click on this generate runtime object okay click on this button it will take some time but it will create the runtime object whenever you click on this create runtime object it will create the four class one is the dpc another is the dpc extension again here the mpc and mpc extension we can write our code logic under this dpc extension class we can write our code logic under this dpc extension class click on this ok button local object And you can see that everything is in green that means you know that has been created over here perfectly okay there is no problem now what you can do that what you can do that you can write the data fetching logic because this entity set we have created 
right this entity set we have created here we are having this entity set in this we'll have to pass the data so how to pass the data in this we must have to write some logic to pass the data into this entity set so for that purpose what we'll do we'll go and create the you know we will go and implement the method the four class just we have seen dpc dpc extension mpc mpc extension so dpc extension is the class where we have to go and write the logic okay here the class name has been created under the runtime artifacts where we have to write the logic we'll have to write the logic inside this dpc extension right click over here go to the abap workbench okay go to the abap workbench and here you can see that several methods are there to write the code so many things so many things this is all oops based coding right this is all oops based coding here you can have the you can write the code for all the four famous functionality that is known as the crud operation create read update and delete create read update and delete this is the creation this is for the deletion this is for getting the data and this is for updating the data set okay so wherever the set is there you can see the set is there means the multiple records you can get in one time and wherever only the entity is there that means a single record you can get in one time so here you can delete one record in one time here you can create one record in one time okay here you can get one record in one time but here you can get multiple record in one time get entity set and here you can update one record at one time okay so these are the methods which we are supposed to implement if you want to create some data from the ui5 application means if you want to create some record in the ABAP application server from the UI5 application, then in backend, you will have to create a service where you will have to write the code. Okay. Actually, code data is a separate course. There, I cover, you know, the implementation, all these things in detail, but here are some basics you need to understand in order to understand this topic related with this EPA, uh, related with this uh, CDS, which we want to discuss over here. So for that purpose, we should have some basic understanding. That's why we are discussing over here in a summarized way, not in very much detail. But yes, this is how it works. This is how the summarized concept we are having. Okay, go here and we'll implement the logic over here to fetch the data, a very simple logic, select this and come over here this is redefine method go into the change mode okay and now it has been enabled redefine it come over here and redefine you can see that several parameters you are having okay several parameters you are having iv entity name iv this iv source it key tab this and all there are so many things this it underscore key tab is the important one okay it underscore key tab is the important one or for getting the data for getting the data you are also having io take request context with the help of this also we can fetch the import parameter we can get the import parameter io take request concept uh, context this one is the easy one okay i'm going to use this come over here and in this it underscore tab it is having two fields name and value you can see that name value pair the data type you can see over here so click on this yes button and double click you can see the name and value so why this name and value suppose if you want to face the data based upon the certain material number if you want to face the data based upon some certain material number in that case what will happen you'll be passing in where condition the you will read the data from the site underscore key tab and in where condition you can pass that one okay here i'm not going to filter anything 
just I'm going to select the data select MTNR MTART then no MBRSH into table what is the table where it's going to get the data in ET underscore entity set right if you see the type of this it is going to have the one which we have defined okay MBRSS MTRT matter in this sequence actually it has been there so we'll have to give in this sequence only okay MBRSS MTART and matter MBRSS MTART and matter okay or else you can go and you know you can change the sequence over there and again you will have to regenerate the project okay so let's do like this only mbrsh mtart comma matnr into table into table this one et underscore entity set et underscore entity set so our work is done our work is done at this point of time select from clause we'll have to give from which table mara into table this so the data what will come over here this you can expose to the ey5 okay so actually it will generate a service i will let you know the other st steps what you will have to follow edit option over here the new open sql is used this is at the rate you will have to use check the syntax now it's fine because new open sql i was using so it is asking me to use the escape uh, character right now it's fine we have you know uh, activated this one once you uh, write your logic what you will have to do that you have to you know register the service and activate the service okay so you'll have to register the service and activate the service let's go back uh, where we are having that service here we are having right service maintenance come over here double click and this is what we are having click on this register button system alias i'm going to give a local generally we give and here the service name is automatically it is uh, giving you right this the package assignment local object enable authorization for service and all this is fine and click on this OK button. Click on this OK button. Now it is fine, All right? You can see that I have registered my service over here in this GW hub. Okay, I have registered my service. Now, if you want to test, go to here, SAP Gateway Client, click on this Yes button, click on this Allow button, and it will come like here and here you can test your service okay here you can test your service so gate is for the read operation post is for write uh, post is for write operation yes put is for update and similarly patch merge delete is for delete okay and this patch i have not used patch merge i have not used okay but gate post put and delete this the correct CRUD operation generally we use from the O data service. Now click on this entity set and the ET material info set is the entity set name over here. What is the entity set we have created? If you remember, this one is the entity set we have created. Select this one, click on this yes button, and now you can execute this one. <clears throat> allow, allow, allow many times it is asking for allow and you can see that here data is coming right you can see that here your data is coming m underscore roh all this data is coming from where from that particular select query the data is coming right from that particular select query the data is coming okay the data is coming from that particular select query how much time it has taken 473 milliseconds right it has taken now if you want to see this particular you know in the json format that option is also available go here and format equal to json double click over here and now press enter uh, execute once again 
it will be coming into the JSON format that will be quite more readable format okay and you will be able to properly understand that how the data is coming right you can see here this is the JSON format and here this is the first record this is the second record this is the third record right and if you want to get some a specific record what you will have to pass you will have to pass this value and you will be able to get this specific record only okay copy this one and just pass it over here control v okay it's not working it's not working because we have not the written we have not written the logic to face the single data that's why it's not working okay that's why it's not working a status it is telling not implemented for the single record we have not implemented the code how to face the data for the single record you can see that this this is actually empty right click over here go to the above workbench click on this yes button and we have not written the logic to get the single record we have written to get the multiple record so info get entity here we can write the logic if you want to get the single record so if you want to pass the single record you will have to pass this material information okay because material is the key field okay let's forget this one we are not into the O data we are just trying to learn the concept so that we can correlate press effort and here you can see that all the data we are getting over here right all the data we are getting it over here and all this data you can expose to the ui5 application all this data you can expose to the ui5 application what's the service name this is the name of your service this service can be used this service from here to here can be used where it can be used in your ui5 application and you can get all this data in the tabular format ui5 application uh, is meant for showing the data in the nice format right fury application ui5 application there you can display the data into the smart table using the smart control so many things are there right there you can go and display the data now your data is there so this service can be consumed over there we have done this many things to create a service with the help of cds just by using a simple annotation you will create the service you don't have to write all these things and all those things what you will have to do you'll have to just write over here at the rate of o data dot publish colon true that's it this much only you will have to write this much only you will have to write and when you will save it and activate it your service is now created okay your service is now created and here you can see that it's giving one error what it is telling it's telling that this cds has no primary key let's give one primary key that is mandatory key i'm just giving this key mtart and here i'm going to give four fields mtart mat kl and mbrsh okay mtart mat kl and mbrsh activate once again some error is coming no problem once again just save it save it check the syntax above syntax contains nrc problems before detail okay key must be contiguous and started the first okay yeah it's at the first position only right select this from this is the cds we are using from key is the material okay some space i think i have left that's why it is giving me the error save it and again check this and it is showing some problem once again 
right click and delete this one right click delete delete now check the syntax and we'll see if it is giving again error key must be contiguous and start at the first position no problem let me just try to activate this one now it looks good for me errors occur during the okay let me do one thing i'm going to remove this parameter and all there is a possibility that this may create the problem directly i'm going to put the select query on the mara table okay and this value i'm going to get just save it check the syntax and here contains no error so that you know here uh, in this case if we're going to publish the word data true some limitation is there and i think that one of the limitation is that we cannot use the cds with parameter okay because it was giving the error i'm not very much sure that need to be checked but however if we're going to use some another cds you know here you can see that i'm just using the cds getting the data from mara even you can put the inner join <clears throat> inner join on the table called uh, v underscore marcy underscore md this is the replacement object i'm using over here on condition mara dot matnr equals to v underscore marcy underscore md matnr okay so it's giving some error let me see this matnr is unknown okay some typo is here matnr so now it's fine key matnr the name it's not unique we are going to give i'm going to specify mara matnr and now it is fine so this v underscore marcy underscore md is nothing but this is the replacement object for the marcy table okay this is the replacement object for the marcy table in s4 hana you cannot use marcy directly over here it will give you the error if we're going to use the marcy directly over here it will tell that this marcy does not exist let me check just check it okay it's working fine sometimes it gave me the error i don't know but here it's working fine marcy also we can use on the mara dot matner equal to marcy dot matner on this where uh, on this condition i'm fetching this data and the same data i want to expose to the ui5 application what we'll have to do just we'll have to write this one and it will automatically create the service now just activate this one okay now just activate this one it's activated right it's activated one warning is coming over here let us see this warning it's telling that multiple marker service is not active you can see that this has been the service has been created but this service is not active the name of the service is what zmb03 may underscore cds3 this is the name of the entity underscore cds so name of the service is going to be end with underscore cds along with the cds following with the, uh, you know the prefix is the this name of the cds entity and underscore cds the service has been automatically created okay and the service will have to just go and register and activate only one time activity this one okay so you have seen that i have how i have registered the service there only you'll have to go and register come here go here go back here here the service maintenance right double click over here and you'll have to click over here okay or from the maintain service registration from here also we can go and you know do the same activity okay so come over here you will get one plus button just a second just a second
uh, sorry guys yeah so this is how we do uh, uh, here you are getting one option that to add the service okay you can see that already it is showing over here you know whatever the service we have created it's already over here okay just what we'll have to do once again i will have to select and activate this one that's it So we can give under the external service name. Click on this get service. It's not showing anything. It was actually already showing over there. We don't have to do all these things. Let me try from here. okay just to go back once again i'm going to select this one this is what we have created double click and here it is showing in the activated status okay it is showing under the activated status everything looks fine over here everything is fine processing mode add to transport this is also refresh catalog and i'm going to call in browser now or we can call in the sap gateway client that what we have seen over there and this is what you are having the service over here click on this execute button and it's working fine all right it's a working fine go here this is the metadata it is showing correctly go to this entity set it material info set no this is the one this is not the one which we have created from the cds it should be ending with the underscore cds let me go back once again no this is not the one sorry this is not the one we'll have to go to this add service and from here we will have to find out that name i'm not able to find actually let me do one thing once again i'm going to activate that one because here i'm supposed to see that particular service activate activate the cds i'm going to copy once again and i want to activate that service okay or we have a transaction go to ac93 slash ifnd mint underscore service this is the transaction under which we can go and maintain the service however it will open the same transaction yeah here we are getting something in better way click on this add service button and here also you're not getting anything okay let me search directly from here jmb jmb
actually it's not coming over here that's the problem it should act automatically come over here when i'm activating from there it should come automatically over there i need to check it okay why it's not coming Okay, I need to check this one. Today we'll stop it here itself. I have some uh, urgent work. Okay. We'll meet uh, uh, next week. Uh, next week I will not be available. So next to next week directly we will meet. There first we'll see how where we are missing this one. And then we will go ahead towards another stuff like VDM and all. Okay. With this we are going to stop it over here. If you have any other question, please let me know. Fine, then I'm going to close the session. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.